Hello, hello, and welcome to Josie's Art School episode number. Episode. Episode <laughs> number 181. We are on our way to 200 episodes on Josie's Art School. So glad that you are here. If you have not just subscribed, please make sure and subscribe and ring the notification <laughs> and ring the um, notification bell. I do two videos every week, sometimes three. All right, so I am doing a project with you today called Cozy Snowman. I know a snowman. Yeah, a snowman. You haven't seen snowmen like this. I haven't seen snowmen like yours. You haven't seen a snowman like mine. All right, so let me give you some options. Look at this. So we are going to be using watercolor paints, oil pastels, crayons, anything you have on hand. So even if you have markers or if you have colored pencils, or maybe you just want to do kind of a sketching uh, sort of piece, that's fine. Now, what I will say, though, is what you're seeing here in these examples, especially in this one, this one inspired like uh, by Starry Night. Um, which is pretty awesome. Um, as you can see, this is a beautiful rendering of a snowman. So it takes your idea or my idea of just your typical snowman and turns it on its head, Tur turns it, turn, turns it on its head. <laughs> Here's what I will say though. Many of you know I live in Arizona. Now I have seen snow. I actually used to live in Michigan. We did a stint in Germany. Um, a stint in Virginia, a stint in Colorado, so your girl knows about snow. But I have made the conscious choice to be here in Arizona and to go visit the snow. So, um, but I love the idea of a snowman because it's so simple that it kind of gets behind any sort of feeling of like, I can't do it or it's going to take too long. And then you just take it to the next level based on what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, as always, let me show you what I'm using. Um, some oil pastels by Dale and Roni. Um, this is some watercolor paint. I know that this is the Artist Loft brand, usually found at a Michael's Craft Store in the United States. And then, of course, your good old Crayola crayon, always here and very helpful. Um, I'm going to be using a Sharpie to draw so you can see what I am drawing. But, of course, you can use a pencil. And then when I grid out my paper, because if you've seen my other episodes, you understand that I like to grid my paper. It just helps me to kind of place things where I want to place it. Something you don't necessarily have to do. Just make it as enjoyable as you want to make it, okay? But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my dash line down the middle, going both ways. And then I'm going to start to build that snowman. Now again, you can decide where you want to build that snowman. So this one is directly in the middle, and this one's off to the side. You choose where you want yours to go. And I'm just going to build it, and you can just build yours with me. All right, so I'm going to build one on top of the other with the circles, right? And of course, it's going to get a little bit tricky for me because, of course, I would need to have to... Um, erase a line, right? So you see, if I were drawing with pencil, I could erase that line right there, right? Um, but I don't have that luxury because I want to make sure you see it. But you know what? For me, this is actually my favorite thing about art, is that those types of things help you stay out of this place of perfection. And I'll just be challenged to figure out what I'm going to do with those lines. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my basic shape, the three circle snowman, right? And so from here, you can choose to put a fun kind of hat. Like this one has a party hat, and this one has a top hat. Um, I think I'm going to go with a winter hat. And then I'm going to put a fun pattern on it. Always love a good flower. So, how is your day going today? If you haven't noticed, most of my videos really do focus on a happy art theme because, you know, there's something about just falling into an art piece 
and just enjoying the time. Um, there's times to, you know, use art as, um, you know, to work out feelings and things like that. And I have definitely done that. I've used art journals many a years for that. Um, but um, for today and lately, I've really just been drawn to uh, happy art. Okay, I'm going to add the nose, the carrot. If you want to get really authentic with the carrot, go ahead and add those grooves in there to make it look like a an actual carrot. And then, of course, go with that coal eyes or <laughs> make it look really, uh, whoops, whoa, those eyes. <laughs> he looks a bit angry, especially with his line sitting right here. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Maybe I need to turn that into lips. <laughs> oh my, 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 my. All right, let's do this. Let's extend this out. Let's try to fix this very... So <laughs> he has taken a, a serious turn, hasn't he not? Okay, so I'm going to do that. We'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> so there's my basic snowman right there. And let's see, we can do a scarf. I know, are you getting concerned for me? He's not looking super cute, is he? I'm okay with that. Always love a good fringe. Um, so I could match the scarf with the hat if I wanted to. Uh, maybe I will. Add a little more pattern, but still add my flowers. You know what? My snowman's starting to grow on me. There's something about making mistakes in art. Um, you know, it used to really throw me. Uh, many of you know that I am an art teacher um, by trade. And so um, I've worked with K through sixth grade. Right now I'm working in a preschool classroom and, uh, you know, standing in front of a class and, uh, drawing can be very daunting and you figure out real quick how to <laughs> let let it be what it is on the page. I think it does inspire them as well sometimes to see that maybe the art teacher isn't the expert in the room and it really helps them to enjoy the process. All right, so there is my snowman for right now. Of course, I probably should do something like those stick arms that they usually have, you know, for the stem, for the um, branches. Maybe there I can get a little bit more authentic with the branch. Listen, I'm, I'm actually kind of falling in love with the lips on him now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so there's my stem. And then, of course, we got to put the coals for this, uh, for the, uh, maybe I want to put it in a, a vest. What do you think about that? Or maybe a sweater of some sort. Oh man, very nice. Maybe a little bit of a skirt. I don't know, I'm going to play with that a little bit. So there's my snowman right here. I'm going to now add a horizon line. You know, to kind of ground the snowman in the uh, in the drawing. Maybe add some trees, some evergreens, you know, inspired by forest or the holiday season. Maybe add one more, have it overlap a bit. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I am very much a proponent of you have to pick your paper up every once in a while and look at it because having it sitting down in front of you really doesn't give you a good gauge of how your drawing looks. So I always invite my artists to take their piece of paper and put it right in front of them and check it to see if they like how it looks. And 
it because you've got the view as if it were on your wall, right? So I would say pick it up from time to time and just kind of let it talk to you. What, what else does it need? What else does it need? So of course you could add snowflakes, you could add the snowman. I am totally doing this right here with the, with the, um, uh, the starry night feel, but in order to get a good, um, sense of that, I will use my oil pastels to kind of draw those circles in, you know, so I can really see it once I add, um, my, um, watercolor paint. And I'm not going to get too, like, precious with how to do it. And so I would invite you to do the same. Like, if you want to try this, maybe you are meticulous with how you want something to look. I definitely, when I find, so, so here's the thing. We're all busy, right? All busy. Um, and I will say that. And especially because I teach art at school, you might think, uh, so you go home and you do art as well? Yes, I do. Um, but when I sit down to do art, I tell you, I really make it a point to not feel the pressure of trying to create some sort of masterpiece, right? Um, I can show you, I have um, binders of just art that I created in the classroom. So usually I have to create samples because they, kids do and adults do like to see a, an example to kind of be inspired by. I actually love that idea. And so I have all of these um, samples and, um, you know, I try my best to kind of get it pretty true to, um, you know, whatever the outcome is supposed to be. When it comes to me sitting down on my own and creating, I really do um, let myself play. All right, so there we are with that. So now we're going to go in and we're going to start to paint or to color or whatever it is that you've chosen to do. So with that being said, now, you know, for the most part, I guess you could keep your snowman white which then for me means the color has to show up everywhere else on the page, right? So I'm going to start by filling in kind of like home base, which will be the trees. So that's that traditional green color. And then of course I put those swirls in the sky. So it's going to kind of give it almost a um, fireworks feel. So I am really jazzed about that. I would encourage you to really play with the color here because we know that this white snowman is going to really stand out, especially when you add the colors all around. Now, remember, I put my <laughs> snowman in a sweater. So I'm making it a Robin's Egg Blue sweater. Yes, very appropriate since my name is Robin. And of course, my wall is filled with birds. So I don't know if I've told this story before, but I we went on a, a trip um, to Prescott, um, which is like our a local town, very touristy type town. And um, we went into one of those boutiques and it was the cutest little place. And um, on the wa their wallpaper was very similar to this bird pattern. And I remember seeing it and coming home and immediately trying to see how much it would cost to put that type of wallpaper on the wall. Now I live in a rental, so that was just, you know, some sort of wishful thinking. But then what do you know, one day I had to drop my daughter off at, um, uh, tutoring and so I kind of walked around Walmart and I don't know if your Walmart has this our Walmarts in this area have amazing fabric right but I decided to just kind of peruse I usually go over into the novelty um, fabrics because I do sewing kits for kids and for adults and I like to use the novelty retro patterns but I decided to go over there I think I'm going to use a white oil pastel just to kind of bring that to life and so I went and I walked by and it literally stopped me because it had been a little over a year since I saw that that um uh that 
wall. And I was so happy to see it. And it literally is the thing that's, that caused me to go, yep, yeah, I'm going to start making videos again. <laughs> Because that was the thing that kept stopping me. I had been making videos, and I've made plenty of them over the years. You know, as I say, this is episode number 180. And I made them while we lived in Colorado, and I've made them when we lived in Virginia. And, of course, the, you know, we've been in Arizona. Um, but I was always having to figure out what I was going to do as a backdrop. And seeing this is like, I want to show the world how amazing this backdrop is. I know it's the little things. <laughs> but anyway, I am just happy to have you here with me creating your version of your snowman. Oh, look at that. Remember that mistake I made? Look at my fun little snowman. Oh, I've fallen in love with him. Yes, I will keep you. All right. So now what I'm most excited about is what it's going to look like when I paint the background after adding the swirls. So I'm going to start that right now. Again, I'm not going to be too precious about the color I'm going to put in the sky. going to go with some blues and some purples. Whoa, that is a lot of purple. Okay, here's another fun tip, okay? So many times when I um, do the videos, I like my drawings, but because I'm, you know, kind of talking to the camera as well as creating, and I really am trying to be free with picking without being too like precious about the colors. I don't always like the outcome, right? <laughs> there is something we said, and I've said this to my art students as well, to just leave it be, walk away and come back in a couple hours and look at what you've created. And many times, Whatever kind of crazy, sometimes we get that judgmental talk in our, um, in our mind. When you come back, um, it's fresh eyes. And you suddenly really adore what you created. And that's what my hope is for you. And maybe if it's not necessarily you adore it, you look at it and you are inspired to maybe add a little something more that maybe you didn't see, but once the, the, the um, paint, the watercolor paint blends with the oil pastel, and you suddenly go, oh, I know what it needs, and you just add that little pop of whatever, and suddenly it all comes together. Oh my gosh. Well, I will say, I'm, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the snowman, but... <laughs> you saw it in real time, people. I left it. I did not edit it. And I just went for it. And now I'm very pleased with my, I don't know, my big lip snow. <laughs> uh, yes, she's pretty. I'll keep her. But anyway, all that to say is, you know, this is one of those things about, you know, picking a project that maybe isn't so you know, it's an easy one. You can do this anytime. But again, because it's so easy, it's it's almost like a uh, you've let down the barrier to entry, the gremlins speaking in your brain and telling you how, you know, you can't possibly draw that or it's been so long since you've sat down to draw. And you can go, well, you know what? Uh, but anybody can draw three circles. <laughs> right? And it's true. Anybody can draw three circles. But what an amazing result those three circles brought together. And I hope you are feeling just as pleased on the other side of your screen as I am. Because really that's my desire is 
to share something with you that's lighthearted and fun and lets you forget maybe something you maybe are dealing with and contending with right now that you have no answers for. And maybe perhaps in the midst, you might come up with some answers. All right, I think I'm putting my finishing touches on here. And there you have it, folks. There you have it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my black paint and kind of go around the edge here, just to give this a little bit of texture. You could always add more details as well as you see fit. All right. Well, I would love to see what you made. So if you want to send me uh, a picture over at my website, uh, email address, wellcreations at gmail.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure and share it with someone. Uh, like, share, and subscribe the channel. And also make sure and check out my website, josiesartschool.com. I have art journal kits. I have sewing kits. I have um, art uh, kits in a box. And I also have a subscription kit coming soon. Thank you so much, my friends. It's been a pleasure to do art with you today.